So, hello and welcome everybody. In this set of videos, we will discuss the error of kernel density estimates. And we'll do that in a few parts. So today we will discuss the bias. And in the next group of videos, we will discuss the variance and the mean squared error. And to start in this very short video, I will just tell you how to make a how to construct a statistical model which can be used in this context. So let's do that. Okay, so let us very quickly discuss what a statistical model in the context of kernel density estimation might be. So normally, like when we estimate the mean, then we could have the model x1 up to xn is normally distributed with say some mean and some variance these mu and sigma squared are parameters of the model. And then our task is from data reconstruct mu and sigma squared. So then we could have mu hat is well, the average one over n sum i from one to n xi and sigma hat squared is something. And these are estimates for the parameters in the model mu and sigma squared. Now here, the model looks deceptively simple, but it doesn't quite fit into this framework. So here, our data, we just assume is an IID sample from some unknown density, and we want to estimate this density. So we would write x1 up to xn are a sample from the unknown density f, independent and identically distributed. And we want to estimate f. So there are no real parameters in this model. The unknown quantity is f, but that's not a parametric family of densities or something like that. It's just f. So f is the unknown, I write that in quotation marks, parameter. And because many people will not accept this as a parameter, it is not a vector of numbers. This is sometimes called non-parametric estimation. Good, but still we want to estimate f. So f from r to r is a function. And we want to estimate this using the kernel density estimate, which is f hat h of x equals 1 over n, sum i from 1 to n, kh x minus xi. That fits together. f is not just numbers, it's a function, the unknown quantity we want to estimate. And our estimate for f, if we think of it like this, f hat h, is also a function. So that we can do for all x in R. So f at h is a function from R to R. So now if we want to consider the error of this estimate, and that's what we are going to do in this and the following section, then we need to compare these two functions. We need to somehow say how close is the estimate f hat to the truth f. And the most obvious way we can do that, and that's what we're going to do first, is to just fix x and ask how close is f hat of x to f of x. And that's our plan for today. Good. So that's what I wanted to tell you about the statistical model.